it's late but i just wanted to ramble a little bit and read this comment here which it's not a disrespectful comment it's not but like youtube be like real annoying and stuff y'all like it be real annoying be real annoying <laughs> So y'all know I made the video about Dr. Ellsworth Wareham, right? Because, simply because visually looking at that man, I could tell that he was not a 100% strict vegan. There was simply no way. And it came out that he admitted that he was occasionally eating fish. Now the person that I made that video responded to their comments, multiple videos, vegan linked. They're you know trying to engage with me and writing all types of novels in the comments and I'm not going to interact with them anymore if you find them in the comments you can feel free to interact with them I think they need someone to argue with because they simply cannot ex accept that someone that admits to occasionally eating fish is not a vegan they can't even accept that that fact and they're calling themselves vegan um and now they're like oh well but he was he was eating mostly plants so you failed because he eats mostly plants <laughs> why are you called vegan linked and not plant-based linked I don't get it but y'all can entertain them in the comments if you would like to i would say it's not a good use of your time but that a video about ellsworth wareham and one of them i got this comment from garden bliss and they wrote char this doesn't justify your diet though an occasional piece of fish is still plant-based and making youtube videos be real annoying so I'm curious as to why you believe that I'm using trying to use Ellsworth Wareham to justify my diet when I said vegans he doesn't justify your diet because he was eating fish they ain't got nothing to do with my diet of course Ellsworth Wareham doesn't justify my diet but he also does not justify the vegan diet which was the point of the video now you could say sure this doesn't justify your diet when we put the word though there you make it sound like I was trying to use him to justify my diet no I'm using him to disprove the fact that he survived so long being a vegan when he was not a vegan he was not a vegan he was not a vegan he wasn't no vegan okay no matter what he said if he admitted to eating fish he wasn't a vegan okay Ellsworth Wareham's diet has nothing to do with mine because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna say that that man stopped eating red meat decades and decades decades before he died I'm gonna keep eating red meat so of course Ellsworth Wareham has nothing to do with my diet, but I'm trying to let you vegans know if you keep running around saying, oh, vegans can live long and be healthy because Ellsworth Wareham, well, he wasn't a vegan, he admitted to eating fish. So when I point that out, oh, but that doesn't justify your diet though. You two be real, real annoying. Like, y'all yeah, annoying. I'll be getting on my nerves. Up. <laughs> so anyway, um, they're talking about the risks of eating fish and everything and, and stuff like that and Luke Corona who, who even sees Luke Corona on what does Luke Corona eat in a day do you even know <laughs> no one knows <laughs> no one knows no one knows and Dr. Garth Davis quit fish when his mercury got too high okay yeah none of this has anything to do with me because you know I ate fish and I ate squid and I ate clams and I ate sardines and I ate salmon and I ate tuna and I ate all that stuff this past like couple months and I'm gonna keep eating it so anyway I hope y'all understand like y'all sometimes some of y'all be getting on my nerves like I feel like I, I feel like the point is pretty clear when people are out here trying to eat an extreme plant-only diet and some of us actually follow that to a T no little bits of fish actually you should watch Juliet Autumn's video about those people around the world that eat so much fish but they're not getting mercury toxicity and it's for a specific reason and it is because of the plant foods that they consume along with it she got a real good video on that but anyway um those of us that stuck to a strict 100 percent plant only diet to a t not understanding but, but, but ellsworth where him but, 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 but. and they ate fish so they weren't even a vegan Okay, I don't know how much fish Dr. Garth Davis was eating. I really don't know. Maybe Dr. Ellsworth Wareham wasn't eating enough fish to give him mercury poisoning, supposedly. But he was also eating enough to keep him alive and not looking like a vegan. His wife was cooking with dairy. Like <laughs> the article said, an article said his wife was cooking with dairy. But he didn't drink milk by the glass, so he said. He didn't actually pour milk in a glass and just chug it and drink it on down. But yeah, maybe his wife gave him some, some mashed potatoes made with sour cream and butter. And he just ate it and it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't drink milk straight out of a glass or anything like I don't know it's just real annoying y'all it's annoying having a YouTube channel sometimes because people will say things like this like 
Ellsworth Wareham has nothing to do with my diet. He has something to do with these vegans trying to use him. I'm not trying to use him. The vegans are trying to use him and I'm trying to tell them you can't use him because he's not doing what you're doing. I know good and well he wasn't doing what I'm doing, but he definitely wasn't doing what you vegans are doing. Okay. Plant-based linked or whatever. Anyway, that's it.